Okay, so today I ran the characters from The Last of Us through one of those celebrity AI things. They like to, uh, you know, uh, they like to say, Oh, you look like this celebrity, when half the time it's just bull. But no, this one's totally real. Please, please subscribe, because this is real content, 100% real content. Subscribe right now, do it but before it's too late. There's two segments of the videos. There's one with the characters from the original game, and there's one with the characters from the remake. Sorry if I'm talking really fast, I do that sometimes. Basically, the characters from the remake look very different from the characters of the original game, because, you know, better graphics makes better faith. <laughs> First character that I would like to run through the AI is Joel. Joel is a staple character. I love Joel. Everybody loves Joel. So the first one, which is, looks crazy, is Dennis Quaid. Next up, you got Chris Angel, Colin Donnell, Neil Patrick Harris, which is quite interesting to me. Uh, Quentin Tarantino, really. Uh, Mel Gibson is up there too, a younger Mel Gibson. Ben Affleck, Ben Elf Affleck as Joel. That's that would be crazy. And Josh Roller, who of course plays Thanos. Bro, can you imagine Thanos as Joel? That'd be insane. Next up on our list is of course Ellie. By the way, this is uh, the first game, uh, Ellie. So, now there was actually a lot of controversy a while back because Ellen, Ellen, now Elliot Page, but at the time Ellen Page, they would, uh, they were arguing that The Last of Us stole their likeness for the character of Ellie. Which is very intriguing because the top match for Ellie is it's listed as Ellen Page, but Elliot Page. Uh, so, well, I, I honestly didn't even think they looked similar. Uh, next notable differences, like the next notable people, is Natalia Vodin Vodi Vodionova. I'm so sorry, Katie Lots. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, this next one might actually Millie Bobby Brown. That's interesting. I reckon Millie Bobby Brown could work. Uh, Gal Gadot. That's definitely for an older version of Ellie. Zoe Dutch and Olivia Holt. Elle Fanning is there too. Elle Fanning could probably... Elle Fanning looks pretty accurate on the, the picture they used. Uh, then you go to Males. Because... <laughs> Dan TDM! No. Dan TDM. Dan... Dan TDM is Ellie from The Last of Us. You heard it here first, folks. Dan TDM should play Ellie in the in the Last of Us season two. I am telling you right now. So that was our two main characters, Joel and Ellie. Uh, you may want to skip to the next part now, but if you want to check out these characters, uh, I would. Next is Bill. Now I couldn't really get a good photo of Bill from the first game, but oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That's how you know it's a good casting. Nick Offerman is one of the highest. Nick Offerman, it's it's recommending Nick Offerman, who is of course playing, who did of course play Bill in the Last of Us TV show. That's that's amazing. Uh, other notable people include Stephen Frears, Gary Cooper, Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Thanks for the heroics and all. Uh, hey, what are you, Joel? Bill, what are you doing? Bill, pray for mercy from. Calm down a second. Puss. They would. You have a Next is Marlene. Now Marlene is played by herself, like the actual voice actor in the series. Which, great casting. Notable people: Asia Argento. Cynthia Addy Robinson, Paula Patton, Zoe Saldana, who plays Gamora. That would be interesting. Zoe Saldana as... I don't think I pronounced that. Zoe Saldana as as Marlene. That would be a great casting. But the, the actual Marlene in the show is doing great as well, because she, of course, was actually Marlene. Next is Tess. Now, Tess wasn't very character accurate in the show. Like, she didn't look accurate. But a character was actually pretty accurate. So here's the people that recommend should play. Tess, Pamela L. Adlon, Charlotte Rampling, Bridget Fonda. But the one that's standing out to me is Kobe, Kobe, Kobe Smulders. Uh, because I think that's the person who played Maria Hill. Yep, no, that definitely was the person that played Maria Hill. And last but not least in the OG game is Tommy. Now, Toby was played by Gabriel, is played by Gabriel Luna, I keep saying is played by Gabriel Luna in the TV show, uh, which I don't actually think looks alike, but, uh, 
Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner as Tommy would have been great. Oh my. Gerard Butler. Uh, Paul Feig. Martin Henderson. Alright, so I'm not expecting much of a change. I was able to get the best photos that I could. Some of these had to be YouTube screenshots. Because there was just no photos online from this game. But um, first up, we're going to be doing Bill. Bill is very different in the remake than he is in the original game. He actually just straight up looks different. Like, uh, so this is the photo I'm using. Bill looks like a lot more older and uh, just more, more, more rusted, I guess would be the word, in The Last of Us live action. How, in The Last of Us uh, original game. But in the remake, he looks a lot more like he's gone insane. And he also looks young, which is the main thing. Not that it's bad if you look old, like, mm. Here's actually a good comparison here. Like, you can see in the original game, he just looks like a lot older and just... Actually, he does look a bit scarier and more insane on the left. But on, on the right, he looks great. He looks amazing. Uh, I like the old remake. Oh, we actually have different people. All right, so the people it recommends for Bill, uh, even though Nick Offerman was just an amazing casting, by the way. Holy crap, this this is interesting. Michael Shannon. He looks like it. John C. Riley, Jack Nicholson. This is this is where it gets a bit. Vincent D'Onofrio, the guy who plays Kingpin, Russell Crowe, and and Jack Black. Jack Black as 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 Bill from The Last of Us. That's got to be my favorite choice. I'd say, but Jack Nicholson as well. Oh, that would that would be great. All right, next up is well, we're gonna do tests. We're doing it in a bit of a different order this time, uh, because so the people that it recommends for tests is Joan Allen, Kristen Davis, Chelsea Field, Bo Derek, Jane Lynch, Jane Lynch. You know the 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 coach from Glee. Don't ask me if I've seen Glee, I don't want to talk about it. Jane Lynch as Tess from the line. That would be great. That would... That's my favorite. My favorite cast. Next up is Tommy, who does look a bit more like Gabriel Luna in the, um... Remake. It's a remake, not a remaster, because the remaster was 2014, and it's the only version that I have. Alright, so... The, the, the... The top ones I'd like to point out is Constantine Kabensky. That's the person who says looks like Tommy the most. Never heard of that guy. I'm sorry. Uh, John Lennon, Gerard Butler, uh, Benjamin McKenzie. But the one that intrigues me the most is Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman as Tommy. Now, originally, right? He's he's. I personally, when when the whole fan casting phase for the last of this TV show was going. on, I personally thought Hugh Jackman should be Joel, uh, and that is mainly because, like, if we're basing it off looks, by the way, Pedro Pascal is an amazing car, I can't even, but if we're basing it off of looks, Hugh Jackman would have been perfect. Look at this, look at this right here, what I'm looking at, look at this, that's Joel, that is Joel right there, that is a living version of Joel, just a bit more beat up, Joel gets beat up though. But Hugh Jackman as Tommy, that's that's just interesting. That would be great. Okay, and now we're at the part where we're back to beloved Ellie and Joel. Let's start with Ellie, shall we? Ooh, that's interesting. So the top result is Eve Hewson. But then there's Dove Cameron. And returning for a second time, Natalia Vodan Vodin Vodinova. Dua Lipa is there too. There's also Katie Lotz and Gal Gadot for the return. What intrigues me the most is how Natalia Vodianova keeps coming back. Next up is is Joel, the beloved Joel. Oh, Joel is the best character. Here he is here. Holy crap, what am I looking at? So AI reckons. We're gonna go from uh, bottom to top here. It's giving me a whole list. David Mamet. Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Zachary Quinto, Paul Johansson, Andrew McCarthy, Joel Gretsch, Mark Evan Jackson as, as, this is for Joel, 
Mind you, this is this is for Joel. John Glover. In the top result for who should who should the most accurate looking Joel. Out of every celebrity, maybe not every living person, but out of every celebrity, according to AI, is Nacho Figueres. I probably pronounce that wrong once again, but I don't say it. I, I personally don't say it. I still think Hugh Jackman looks more accurate. But that would be for the original, the remake. God, that could be anyway. But Petra Pascal, as Joel, is great. I'm telling you guys, I'm not even trying to say that to keep calm for the video. It's Anyway, I'm just very happy with the uh, Joel we got. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Now this, this truly is daddy. This truly is Joel. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to have to blur like a ton of it because of that. YouTube is... Oh! Now look at that. Uh oh, grounded mode. I'm gonna have to speed run the outro because I was told that uh, if you do faster outros, you'll get more views. Um, don't leave, don't leave. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please give me more views. I need all the views. If you, if I don't have views, I will, I will end you. So, please tell me if you like if you like the video. I'll do more like this. I uh, my next video is planning to be the Last of Us video or a Skyrim video, depending on what I want to do. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Uh, check out my other videos where I play Minecraft content mainly, but I am recently trying to do a new form where I play newer games and just have fun. Um. Yep, that was fast. Okay, so today I ran... Okay, so today... Okay, so today... Okay, so today I ran the play...